from the YouTube to Okio, this is Wake Up There, they leave you alone, and now, a man who is even more entertaining than Dixie D'Amelia will ever be, which is not that hard to do if you ask me, Ellie Kirkie Mueller. Ha! Welcome to Wake Up Eight. I'm Ellie Kirkie Mueller, what's up my guys out with? Alright, so I just got to talk about A-Threat, this man, Alex, Alex, Scare of the Animations, the anti event they show with his, uh, actions and, uh, another kind of series that he's doing. Web is our team with his uh, rants and uh, reviews and podcasts and the Golden Fighter with his fan edits. Alright. Now. Got all the shower spotlight winners uh, taken care of. It's time to get serious. And we are going to talk about Dixie de Emilio. Adam, come on over here, will you? Here comes Adam, folks. That's right. He's coming out, and we're going to get serious about this. All right, like I said, tonight's topic: Dixie the Emilio, a woman who loves getting attention. Who that? Dixie the Emilio. She's a, a TikTok uh, fool. She has a group of her own. It's called the Hype House. I mean, who would join that group anyway? Snoop Dogg. I mean, come on. That's not a good name Definitely. for a group. Yes. Snoop would love that group. Yeah. Now, here's an interesting right? Someone online asked her about who her favorite TikTok star is. Ironically enough, it's neither her nor her fame starved sister. Then who is it? John? No, it's Cody Cole. Cody Cole? Yeah. Another uh, TikTok star who will probably uh, talk about on this show in the very near future. Now, now, I'm surprised that, that she didn't uh, like her sister's content. I mean, why? I mean, they're both pretty awkward. Now, the fact that she didn't uh, choose her sister, that's just a huge stab in the back. Is it really, or, or is it just her? Trust me, I know what what it's like. Let's get off the top eight list and let's see what uh, we got in uh, MP about this. <laughs> According to my calculations, two plus two is six. Two plus two is six. <laughs> and the top eight words that can be used to define Dixie the Babila Babilo. Yes, that is her full accurate space name. Is number eight awkward? Number seven oddly even. Number six dorky. Number five loopy. Oh my! I've I've heard loopy so much. Fucking time for this. Number four. Oh. Unfunny. It's true. Number three. Tricky. Number two. Terry Blame. Blame? Number one. Lame. Ha! We'll be right back with Dixie, the very lame and terrible De Emilio after this. Dewey enjoying a little time in the sun. Little butterfly, little butterfly flying around there. Everybody's having a good time. Oh, you watch right me with Nick at night. Keep it clean on the screen, Nick at night. Use it only as directed, cause it's copyright protected. Keep your TV set connected, Nick at night. Have you ever had to wait for new carpeting to be delivered? I'll guarantee you, before it arrives, you'll think they must have sent it by Slow Sam's Turtle Express. You can expect to wait a good four weeks, maybe six to eight weeks. But I'd like you to remember, Empire will have your new carpeting delivered and installed in 72 hours. Plus, you'll get your choice of a telephone or Bissell shampoo, free with any carpet order. So call Empire now, huh? 588 Empire. Don't wait.
wait for a slow Sam. to the show and by the way if anybody's concerned about the fact that did see the Emilio's fans might uh, come after uh, this episode <laughs> trust me the fans uh, the people who like Dixie the Emilio's content don't even know what uh, proper comedy is okay this is real entertainment and right now we're about to do the let's talk about slash talk it's time segment let's go Let's talk about it. Real versus fake. According to my calculations, there is a legendary... Now, has four syllables in time. Is exactly eight. And in 1808, BBC, the first was born. And it was born in 804 and 808. The AM, PM, afternoon, morning, and nighttime mm. off at the same time. Now, we have and at the same time, and you get some go speech. We have speech. You can talk. And when you talk, it's 804808. Then you can talk, 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 Welcome back, Doggy Tabu, the news with Kongi. Okay, now, a lot of you are probably wondering, who is Dixie De Emilio? Those of you who don't know, you're probably uh, the people who uh, don't know who Dixie De Emilio is. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense, but you're watching this show means that you're not a fan of Dixie De Emilio. Anyway, this is this, right? She has a gang, she has a content creator gang in uh, the Hype House. Alongside her sister, Charlie. Okay. Alright, now there are some other things that uh, nobody cares about. Which brings us to uh. something uh, interesting, right? She has been casted for a new television series entitled Outerway General. You know, which is a new uh, TV web series. Well, wait a minute. TV web series? If it's a television show, it's a television show. If it's a web series, it's a web show. Don't uh, get those two confused. Question. Go ahead. I'm no use in whatever the fuck it's called, but... What the fuck is a TV web show? You mean it's a web show that's scripted like TV? Or do you mean it's like on YouTube Red and it's like TV but it's oh, really? not? Well, at this point, uh, at this point it could be a potato for like here. Now. You said potato, you boss, you got to call it, you feel me? Now, this is, now the show is about a group of teenagers who volunteer together at a local hospital. Wait, wait a minute. Doesn't that sound like something that there was air on T-Nick? I mean, real talk. Do you want to taste the potato? Okay, I'm sorry. And it says here that she has 19.2 million TikTok followers. Oh, wow. I guess you've been selling your... I guess they that would be that would be rated PG fifteen. Nathan, Nathan. Wait, 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 but nine point two million TikTok followers. How many of them actually uh, like her uh, content? That's how many she's. I can't buy one of the drugs. I can't. Anyway, where was I? Yes. um... If you have that many followers, that means that you have a follower. Yes. Yes. 
Now, the floor. It says here, I believe that this floor is made out of floor. Yes. <laughs> this is the weirdest show we've ever done. Well, then again, this I is know. even more entertaining than Dixie Day Amelia's TikTok videos, which are uh, coincidentally 10 seconds long. Who cares? Anyway, it says here that uh, she has. Uh, uh, it says here that she has chosen her favorite content creator. And it's not her uh, sister Charlie, turns out, who we're going to talk about on the show tomorrow. Yeah. Well, apparently, her favorite uh, TikTok uh, person is actually not on TikTok, you know, but it's rather on YouTube, Cody Co. So let me get this straight. You didn't. I do don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It was Jack Mark, bitch. Up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, okay, that's your favorite. Whatever the fuck. That, 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 that's supposed to mean something to me. That's supposed to move me or some. It, 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 it really don't. And it says here that uh, she did it uh, for her first ever uh, Twitter Q&A uh, on YouTube. And I'm like, really? Who no, would no, no. have that question? Who gives that much of a shit to ask them that question? Yeah, as a matter of fact, let me uh, ask you this question. Like, maybe he'll, he'll ask what you're doing, what if, uh, are you going to turn into a gaming channel, are you going to stay to TikTok, what the fuck you're doing, what <laughs> How's the wife? Well, how's the missus? How's the well, tree? Well, <laughs> here's why uh, Dixie uh, moved from uh, TikTok to uh, YouTube. She's tired of doing only 10 second videos. <laughs> Which, at some point, you know what? I gotta agree with her. Because you can't uh, do something entertaining in 10 seconds. Or your exceptions will, will be for vines back in the day. But even then, those are only six seconds long. So... Get the fuck out. You don't know what it does. It doesn't matter if you have seen Vine, whatever the fuck it's called, go off the board in ten seconds. How? I don't know. When? I don't remember when. But yes, I have seen this. It's just <laughs> fucking ten seconds. And let me tell you something. It don't matter how, how much time it is. It's just nowadays this shit's cringy. There's these fucking kids who try to do some dumb shit and then... <laughs> Fucking throw the goddamn knife out of some stupid shit, some stupid shit like that. It's, it's, it's like, you know, lip sync. Honestly, I have a TikTok, at least from the shit that my friends sent me. It's just fucking lip sync, but with regular videos. You know what I think about the TikTok? And then the other portion of TikTok. <laughs> Motherfuckers, or or one of those fucking. Just <laughs> speak no italics. All right, I can speak enough e e italics in Spanish class. All right, I have enough okay. of italics. Now listen. I don't know much, but I do know about what I just said. You guys can find out what cult she, she, she's in, if she's a lip sync, if she's a dancer, or if she's an idiot, but I don't know. Y'all find that, find that out.
Well, I apologize for what you had just listened to. You know, uh, even though most of what he said is absolutely true. You know, it's a swearing that, uh, you know, I had to... Uh, all that I said was true. We mean you both to say all of it. Now listen up to all the kitties out there. Look, 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 get out of the way. Look at me. Kitties, look, look at me. All right. YouTube is gonna put us into cop or whatever if I'll do this, so I'm sorry. Welcome to 2020. Am I right? I, I think I am. I make this show PG-15-13 so we don't get put in the kiddie pool. Because if we were put in the kiddie pool, we would get 18 year olds now, would we? No, we wouldn't. That's half audience. That's half audience. Ain't it, Mr. Stick Sticks? That's 89% of all of you. That's 89%! That's more than 3! I can only count past 5! Oi. Well, that's the show for tonight. Yeah, we really proved that uh, Dixie D'Amelio is not that entertaining. We proved that very well, I think. Now, tell tomorrow when we will talk about Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> yes, that's right. You think that Dixie is bad? Oh man, got another thing uh, coming. That's loose. I'm out of skis. Bye 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 bye.